For the first time in five decades, the U.S. space agency NASA has named four astronauts who will take the humanity back to the moon. We're going to hear the words, go for launch. Christina Koch will become the first woman astronaut ever assigned to a lunar mission, while Victor Glover will be the first black astronaut. It is an honor to be here. I also want to thank our families, the Trailblazers, our colleagues, and our leadership. The duo will join Reed Wiseman and Jeremy Hansen to fly a capsule around the moon late next year or early in 2025. In selecting a woman and a person of color, NASA is keeping its promise to bring greater diversity to its exploration effort. All the previous crewed missions to the moon were made by white men. The three U.S. citizens and one Canadian were presented to the public in a ceremony in Houston, Texas. They will now begin a period of intense training to get themselves ready. We are going to launch from Kennedy Space Center through the work of the Exploration Ground Systems team. We're going to hear the words, go for launch. On top of the most powerful rocket NASA's ever made, the Space Launch System and we're gonna ride that rocket for eight minutes into Earth orbit. We're not gonna to go to the moon right away. We're gonna stay in an amazing high orbit, reaching a peak of tens of thousands of miles while we test out all the systems on Orion and even see how it maneuvers in space. And then, if everything looks good, we're heading to the moon. The astronauts won't land on the moon, but their mission will pave the way for a touchdown by a subsequent crew. The Artemis II flight team will be the first to venture that deep into space since the historic Apollo missions that ended in 1972. The flight to the moon will help humans in moving ahead with their aim for a mission to Mars. Stage one, chamber pressure is nominal. Stage two, chamber Why should anyone care about Rahul Gandhi's disqualification apart from the Congress party? It's not as if what he's been disqualified for is a larger public cause. Are we seeing a sleeper Khalistani nexus at play in Punjab, which has allowed Amrit Pal to evade the law? Unfortunately, Punjab has that sleeper cells right from 18. I'm very happy that we are in a conversation with four medalists at the World Boxing Championship, the Women's World Boxing Championship, and all of them have won gold. If the target is bigger, then the difficulties are also bigger. The Donald Trump is uh, trying to run for office again. Do you reckon he'll be able to win the Republican Party nomination? Uh, and why are Republicans still sort of rallying around him? That Trump will get the Republican nomination. I think if he is nominated, he will lose for sure.